Hi, this is Bill Kaiser with Helena Public Schools, and today we're going to learn how to back up our hard drives and uh, back them up to OneDrive and or your U drive. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is determine if you have OneDrive running. So you can go to the bottom of your screen, there's a yellow folder icon, click on it, and it'll open up a window like this. In the left hand column, scroll to the top and you, uh, if you have OneDrive running, you'll see this icon that says OneDrive dash Helena School District. You're good to go. If you don't see it, I'm going to show you really quickly how to get it running. So I'm going to close this again. Um, to get it running, it's very easy to do. Click on your start button down in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. And in the programs menu on the left, scroll way down to the O's. And when you get there, you should see uh, a folder with the blue eye cloud icon. Just click on that. In my case, I've already installed it, so I see all of this. But if you've never installed it, you will be asked for your username, your school district uh, email, and your password. Go ahead and enter that, and in about five minutes, it'll be ready. So after five minutes, come back and do the rest of this tutorial. Okay. So here we go, we're uh, ready to start copying things. Um, one thing that's kind of nice is to have a uh, file explorer window open and have two of them open side by side and then you can just kind of copy things back and forth and you don't have to uh, keep track of where you are as much. It's much, much quicker. So I'm going to size this one by dragging the title bar and put it over on the right side. I'm going to resize it by clicking in this edge until it fits a little less than half the screen. And then um, I'm going to right click on this PC and I'll get this right click menu and about halfway down it says open in new window. So I'm going to do that. And now it opens up a second window and I can move that one around and resize it by clicking on the edges and grabbing the title bar and getting them lined up. Okay, so what we would like to do first, though, before we go too much farther, is um, most people have a lot of stuff on their desktop and that is not being backed up anywhere. If anything happened to your hard drive, you would lose it. If um, you get changed computers, it'll get left on the other one too. So let's go back to your desktop. I'm gonna minimize both of these for a minute. And what I would like you to do to back up your desktop is right click anywhere in an empty spot and go to new folder and just call this folder old desktop. And then of all the icons that you have on your desktop, just drag and drop them in there until your desk is test desktop is clean. Don't bother with shortcuts like Teams and Google and Firefox. They uh, don't need to be copied. They'll all automatically be on your new computer. And then I'm just going to right click on old desktop and I'm going to go to copy. Okay, uh, you might have noticed I shrank those to the bottom of the screen. I'm going to bring them back up. And in the OneDrive one on the right, I'm going to keep OneDrive on the right. I can see all the folders I have. If you're new to it, you won't have hardly any folders in there. But I'm just going to right click anywhere uh, in the white empty spaces and click paste. And now I've just copied those files to OneDrive. That's all I had to do. Uh, now we're going to go to in the left window here. We're going to go to documents. And you can see all the documents that I have and folders and everything in there. I'm going to right click on documents in the left column there. I'm going to copy it and I'll paste it. And it's copying things too. I think I have a bad file name in there so I'm just going to skip it. And then if you have music you can do that too. If you have pictures you can do that. If you have saved pictures. <laughs> You can do that as well. And videos, you can copy that one. And all you got to do is just drag and drop them over here in a kind of an empty space. And they'll make room for themselves and copy themselves over there. 
The reason that you don't drag and drop them instead of copy and paste them is I have had trouble with it creating shortcuts instead of actually co copying the files, in which case all your stuff would get left on the computer and you wouldn't even know it until you switch to a new computer. Uh, so anyway, right-click copy trick. Okay, now you can do the same tasks as we just did with OneDrive, but in this case I'm going to go down to this is my U drive, B Kaiser U drive. I have a gazillion files in there as well. But really, it's just the same thing. You copy there over in the left window, this left window, and you right click copy something there. I'm going to copy my documents. And I'll right click over here and go paste. And now they're being, this is on a server, a district server. I have to skip that bad file name for some reason. And and it's done. So I could go and do that with videos and everything else. So once you've done that, uh, if you used OneDrive, you'll be able to access all your files from home. You'll be able to bring, log into your computer to office365.helenoschools.org. And uh, all your files will be there. You can work on documents. You can work on them in the browser. So it's very, very handy. If you put them in the U drive, they're going to be very secure uh, night and They'll be there, but you'll only be able to use them while you're at school. So um, I recommend if you haven't used OneDrive, give it a try. You're probably really going to like it and be able to uh, get a lot more done, more productive, and uh, see what you think. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, call the Helena IT, Public Schools IT Department at 2114, and they'll get you going again. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.